Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another JTOH video. Today, we're here in Ring 2 again, and we're going to be doing the Tower of Deep Darkness. My name is Rara Studios, and I upload two Roblox parkour-oriented videos a week. So if you don't want to miss one of my latest video releases, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And with that said, let's get into the video. So Tower of Deep Darkness, it's one of the longest towers in Ring 2. I think it might be the longest, that is, until this one gets released. Um, yeah, even though it's only 10 floors, they're really long floors. Also, for some reason, lately, in like all JTOH servers that I've been joining on all the rings, um, like, they all seem to have like no one in them. Um, like, normally there's, like, a good 20 people in them, but, like, I've only been finding, like, 10 people in all the servers. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because, I thought it might be because the Halloween event came out and everyone's playing in Ring 1, but that can't be the case because no one is playing in Ring 1. Or, you know, it's the same amount of people. But, I don't know. Anyway, Tower of Deep Darkness. As the name implies, there are a lot of... There, there's a lot of darkness involved. Uh, here's a really neat shortcut you can do. So, yeah. Um, and don't think you can just cheat and use a lantern. Um, you can. It, they, they get disabled from floor 6 and onward, which this is a um, descending tower, so that technically means floor 4. That might be confusing. Also, for some reason, like, it keeps, like, I don't know, it's delaying the damage I'm taking from the kill bricks for some reason, so that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, those first two sections are pretty straightforward, but then once you get to here, you gotta hit that speed pad and then run across the floor. Ooh, ooh. Uh, then you gotta hit that button and run back across. Um, and if you hit the kill brick floor in this section, then... It'll reset that button and you gotta hit it again. So it, yeah, see, whoops. Uh, let me get that again. The spinner jump, it can be a little bit hard. Uh, as you can see that I messed that up a second ago. Then you gotta get on this moving platform. I just saw it uh, come in right there. Normally I would wait if it was already there because it might leave while I'm in the air. Uh, right there, right before it dismounts you off the zip line, it's going to like um, center you out so you don't get flung. Don't hit that button because then it'll deactivate these platforms, and you don't want that. Right here, it can it can sometimes be mean and not want, and then not let you land on there. Well, that was not true darkness. In fact, there wasn't any darkness. This is where the true darkness begins. Yeah, so it's pretty dark, but don't worry, it's not this dark the entire tower. This is a very dark maze. Can you make it through? Um, you can kind of see what you're doing, um, but yeah. The first, so you want to get a blue button in order to get through here. You want to come back through here. Hold on. Turning out my lights so I can see a little better. I'll turn them back on in a minute. Basically, you want to go in like a U-turn thing around this corner to hit that button. Then you can go back. Now you gotta find four buttons to reach the end. Now I know this maze isn't so bad, but later on there will be a trickier maze. Good luck. So the first one, inside this little two stud gap, you gotta hit this green button. And then here's the white button. Then there's a red one right here. And then, um, yeah, and then you wanna come down here in this two stud gap. Also in, in editing, I'll try to like boost the brightness in here so you can see a little better. Okay, the next, the white button is down here. I mean, the, the brown one. Yeah, and then you see uh, this one. Uh, you'll see that thing. It's Kermit the Frog T posing, and that is a kill brick. So what you want to do, wait for it to get right there. Then it'll disappear. Then you want to come into this gap. Let him pass you. And then you just go through here. Uh and you'll go through the four button activated walls. There's the white one. There's the green one. 
There's the red one. And there's the brown one. Gosh heck darn, you made it through. The next maze should be harder though. Yeah, it's really not that hard. Um, the path really isn't that confusing. Um, yeah. So anyway, you want to do this little parkour, then do that seven stud wraparound. Thankfully, uh, nothing really ha nothing happens if you mess it up. That says need a light. K. Okay. That sign just um gives off light. And yeah, there are lights around the tower, which um so it's not entirely as dark as that maze was. I don't know what to put on the sign. Just gonna put this here and then. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so then you go in here. Don't worry about hitting your head, that's not going to happen. And you're actually outside, and I don't think you can jump down to- and, Well, obviously you can't. You can't jump down to the later outside sections. It's probably gonna, like, make you lose progress or something. So you hit that button, and you have 1,337 seconds to beat it. But that's just a joke, you really only need, like, 10. All it does is activate this. You can walk sideways across here if you don't want to jump. Then jump onto the spinner, and jump right there. And don't worry, that's not going to be in your face the whole time, because it's about to disappear. Alright, be careful not to walk off. You probably lose progress if that happens. Then you drop down there. That's just a troll, so you'll fall further down. I don't think you can actually, like, save it. Okay, uh, right here, you can go to the balcony. This isn't required, though. And then the light will, or the, the fog end will go back. It'll still be dark. Um, welcome to the balcony. Here, you will get to- you get to view all the towers with ease. If you fall down, you won't be able to take any shortcuts. Also, there's another balcony below, though unfortunately it's full of darkness. By the way, it is nighttime, even after you end the tower. All you gotta do is rejoin, and it'll be fine. And there's a quick way to do it. All you gotta do is type in exclamation point rejoin into the chat. Um, then it'll even put you in the same server, but I'm not gonna do that right now because, yeah. So then you got one of these guess the platform things, but it's actually a troll because all of them are can collide false, except there is a semi-transparent one right here that you can walk on. You might not be able to see it in the recording, but it is there. It's not really that hard to see. So then you X push your way across here, go through here, and um, careful not to take too much damage. Press this button, trust me, it'll help you progress. Yeah, so then you wanna jump back down here. This will now be open tricky part, huh? Yeah, so you gotta do this little parkour thing. Uh, there's a safety net in case you fall, like I just did. Okay, there we go. Hit that button. That wall will block you. This button is what makes the- what lets you progress further, but then that'll block you. So now you gotta make your way out. So it says walk off the walkway, end up losing progress. Not sure how much progress you lose, don't want to find out. And if you see that, there's that little wall right there, so don't even bother trying the shortcut to the button. There you go, this will open up. Whoops. And then you can head back out here and redo this uh, parkour section. So, fun fact about this tower, this is one of the only three towers in the- Oh, well, it took me so long to think of something to say during that, that we're already back. Whatever. Uh, um, whatever. Yeah, so, you come back here, and that button, the blue, the dark blue one, it makes that platform appear. Make sure you have enough health to get through that. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health. Um, that's not good. Okay, I'm actually going to heal up for a minute. You don't need that much health to get through here. Um, all you gotta do is get off this platform, head over to here. Okay, so we have that cool looking thing. It has a little sans head through that mirror, and so it's confusing on where the mesh part is. Okay, I think I got enough, enough health to go through. That jump can be a little tricky. Just go sideways like I did. Then sort of walk at an angle, that way you keep like pressing yourself into the wall and stay on the pathway. All right, right here, align yourself. Put your, if you don't know how to do the tight ribs correctly, which you probably do if you're, you're doing this tower, put your mouse cursor on it and then in first person, and then align your and then use the greater than and less than keys to, to align yourself. Um, and it's aligned all the way down, so just keep holding forward, even if you can't see. And then you gotta jump right down here. 
you can kind of make it out. Welcome to the deep darkness. You may notice that all your, all of your lights are broken. That is normal within these depths. Good luck. You need a green and a red button to pass down here. Um, at some point, you could just uh, glitch out here and cheese this section, but they probably have patched that. So you want to jump on that light and then do this little parkour. And then you're about to reach something that uh, confused me for a while, and then I was just stuck there, and so I just rage quit. But then I found out. Uh, that's a wobbling platform, by the way. So that thing, it kind of explains what you're supposed to do, but um, I think I can explain it better. So, whatever. Uh, yeah, so, basically, the different positions of this X pusher lets you to the green and red button that lets you down there. So when you push it forward and then the red things block you, that allows you to get to the red button, I think. Yeah, the red one. So you can jump on that light and then jump down here and you'll notice this has changed. If you fall, you can just do that parkour to get back up here. But anyway, you wanna do this little parkour segment and then that will allow you to get to the red button. There we go. Um, you can you can uh, jump all the way back down, then head over there if you want. Uh, okay, I guess I'm doing that because I failed. You probably can just backtrack. That might be faster. I don't know. But anyway, now you want to do this parkour back to that X pusher thing. So if the X pusher is right here at the end, it's going to allow you to get to the green button. How you do that, you want to come over to this one, then slide it into there. Now you can push it here, this will change, and now you can jump back down, do this parkour, and it'll allow you to the red button. Yeah, once you get right here, you want to do these spinner jumps, then jump on here. And there we go, we've hit both, we've hit both buttons. You can parkour your way back or just jump down. Alrighty, now we can hop right down, and this whole floor that's red, which is, is a speed deactivator and a kill brick, because this gives you speed. So, you want to hit this 60 second timer button, and then you want to do the speed section. Quickly go across here. Uh, this platform right here is a conveyor, so just hold space on it. Whoops. Oh, okay. Uh, so you don't just have to die if you run it, if you mess up. Okay, because I have these healing platforms. Okay, I'll meet you when I get back over there. Alright, made it back. Or, I made it back over to here. Uh, ignore my health. Um, I just got kind of impatient. Yeah. Um, whatever. So as I was saying, you want to do this speed section. And then go up, jump up that conveyor. Jump on this uh, glowing spinner. Uh, don't get confused and accidentally try to jump on those lights. And then, uh, yeah, the speed section is over. And yeah, it, the you have 60 seconds to X push your way across here. So now you gotta wait for a while for a platform to, to get right here. And we're going to do a tower crossing, yay. Oh, it looks like it finally arrived. Actually, that wasn't that long. That was like 30, it was, it was like 20 seconds. Yeah, it has a lot of different destinations. Because if it goes too fast, it'll like fling you off. And by the way, if you fall at any point during the tower crossing, you get sent um, inside of that floor and you have to do the button activity again. And nobody wants to do that. And I believe it tower crosses to every tower in this ring, with the exception of Tower of Difficulty Chart Classic. Okay, yeah, that's right. You must wall glitch into the tower. You shall beat it with the Curse of Darkness. So, if you don't know how to wall glitch, even though you probably know how to do it, if you're, if you're trying this tower, you want to go into first person and then shove your nose into there, and then press shift twice like that. Although, um, a lot of people, including me, I'm just showing it like that, you can actually do it sideways too, like that. Um, and you can even do it backwards, I think. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I knew that was a bad idea. Ah, ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. <clears throat> that was scary. I think you can do, um, a cool wall hop skip right up to there, but, um, 
I don't want to risk it. Should you fall below the pink floor, progress will be lost. Also, stay between the glowing lights when jumping off. So, you want to jump right here. If you couldn't already tell, this is Tower of Cold Hands. And remember that those spinners are can collide you and can yeet you off. So basically, it's just Tower of Cold Hands with darkness. Although it does have, although you do, although you do get this uh, light around you. And haha, we don't have to worry about those kill bricks that are here in the actual tower. So we can take our time on these stick out wraparounds. And then for this tightrope, if it's too neon to see, you can zoom out your view in the smallest increment while holding down right click, which will keep your mouse in the center and it'll eliminate the neon glow. Some tightropes have different amounts of glows than others. I think it depends on the color. And then you do these X pushers. And then you can actually high jump here or do the normal route. I'm just gonna high jump to speed up the process. There we go. And then the stairs to victory. Yep, that's the tower. Just kidding. We do not attempt we do not condone attempts to beat other towers. Try the new route. Yes, yeah, so you gotta take this X pusher over to Tower of Difficulty chart. Oh, it's not that bad this time. I'm not that evil, you know. Yeah, so you, so corner glitch corner glitch again. Uh, as far as doing it sideways goes, um, put your shoulder into it like that. Turn around, then do that, and then press shift twice. I usually like to press shift and D at the same time, cause that's just more consistent for me. Careful, because that can fling you. Ooh, that was close. So now we're at Tower of Shattered Dreams. It's not as bad as it was for me when I did this tower normally it's literally like two jumps yeah see time for tower of traps normally that little box right there you'll get trapped in there if you're doing uh tower of traps normally uh and its only purpose is for this tower crossing uh final question yeah because there's a little quiz thing in tower of traps <coughs> oh gosh i need water There we go, that's better. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Ah, ah, I hit the wrong key. Ooh. I hit D instead of W. No, no, S instead of W. Sorry. Oh, oh, ah, ah. There we go, now for Tower of Table Flipping. I got kind of confused when I was, I, I've never played Table Flipping, so I don't know what to do. Right here. So, I just wall hop right there, because I'm bad at whatever that is. I think you're supposed to like push the rotating cylinder. And, oh dear, I can't see any of these things. So bright. Okay, now for which one is this? I think this is falling and failing, I think. There we go. Okay. Yes, this is falling and failing. So uh, don't worry, you won't get trapped like you would in falling and failing if you actually fall because you know there are those trap areas all over the place so yeah if you hold space right here you're gonna take a lot of damage um you can use helicopter powers that helps or you can do what i just did which was uh i was holding uh w and then sort of and then like uh pressing a and d yeah then you want to jump down this corner light is gone this is Tower of Overcoming Hatred. If you're wondering why there are crabs right there, it's because the song playing is the crab rave. I think it's fine if you fall here. You just gotta do a little few jumps. Or it's mean and just teleports you all the way back. So then you got a tightrope. So yeah, if you've... You might not even recognize this at all. Because this is the main route if you don't do the... What is it? The the dance glitch, the the dance glitch, which skips this part. So yeah, you don't actually have to do the jumps here. You can just jump across the kill bricks, which I'm gonna do. So yeah, but you want to come over to this block right here. Then you want to do a head hitter. I think you can just shortcut that. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, you can just shortcut that. And we're almost done with the tower crossing. One more tower left after we get teleported right here. There we go. 
This is Tower of Eternal Suffering Floor 1. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you wanna, this tightrope, you definitely wanna align your view. Couple head hitters, and there's normally a kill brick on this one stud path. But no, because we're not actually playing Tower of Eternal Suffering. Now you got a corner glitch out here. And, yay, we're done with the tower crossing. 